And if the prices of fuel comes down, the prices of co uh, transporting goods will drastically reduce. And when these things are reduced, you see that everything in the country will continue to subside. The, the inflation will continue to subside, will go down. But as far as fuel that affects every other thing we are doing in this nation, Nigeria, is still rising. Uh, last week I bought fuel 880 naira per liter. How? If a driver, a commercial taxi or bus driver buys fuel at that price, tell me how he's going to make his money. At the end of the day, it will be almost impossible to make his money and get a return uh, because he's going to the same market. After even if he decides to increase his, the, the price of uh, the price he collects from commuters, what is he's going to go to the market and also spend it? Mm. So the only thing that Nigeria needs now is that they will make the price of fuel to come down. That is the only, the most important thing that will affect the gari we are buying in the market, the rice we are buying in the market, the bread that is on, on a, the bread of um, to 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 get bread now. To look for bread, you have to go look for one thousand seven hundred, and there are there are about a good, a good bread. So how can a common man be able to afford these things? And this thing can only come down, although the president have said. Uh, there will be a reduction in, uh, in taxes and uh, whatever on uh, some of these commodities. Yes, but yet, as far as fuel price is still high there, all these things will still continue to go up. Go up. Yes. After, like, let me hear, what's the headline for you after the Nigeria protest? The protest, it seems nothing was done to caution the, 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 what, the demands. You feel that our government, our representative are impossible. They don't yield because democracy is for the people, for the people, you understand. Since they are not yielding to Nigeria demands, we've seen the cases of Kenya, what transpired in Kenya of recent, after the, uh, the the bills where the government proposed and they came back to say, okay, they'll, they'll, they've... Uh, they're they're removing working. it. Yeah, they reviewed it, this yes. and they withdraw it. In the case of Nigeria, when Nigerians were after the promise were made, many elections after elections and all that, first subsidy gone, and the Nigeria cannot, you know, ascertain all the what they use the subsidy money for. You know, there's, they can't account for anything. Where do we go from here, sir? Well, the, the, we, we are going to go nowhere. Look at the protests has ended, and the organizers have. Uh, Pend down another date, first of October, for a resumption. Sorry to cut you, sir. Yeah. Should protest be announced because it gives government time to, 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 you know, to prepare See, and counter. Yeah, the yes, protests need to be announced. As far as I'm concerned, why protest should be announced is when it is announced, it gives room for dialogue. It gives room for government to act because this government we are we are seeing now seems to be insensitive to the suffering of the people, of the masses. They don't care. Otherwise, since this, for 10 days now, protests have been going on in this country. Even though that there's part of, uh, uh, in some part of the country, the protests have been hijacked by looters and criminals along the way. But yet, what has government done? Government has done nothing to remedy, to look into some of the demands of the protesters. For instance, they said, fuel. They have mentioned it for her, although they mentioned all that. But the one that touches every member of the society is this hike in fuel, which the president said subsidy is gone. From look at to this week now, we are in August, and Dangote refinery was supposed to start this week, and the first week is gone, and second week is going, and we are now we have just had that uh, there is another date penned down for. The production of fuel from Dangote refinery. The, the, the government, this is a private uh, 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 individual. What can the government do? That is the problem. The government needs to sit down, the president, the president and the presidency, the House of uh, Representatives, and the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria need to, all the senators, what are they doing with, the, with, with their mandates given to them by the masses? They were given this mandate to go there and represent the masses. But well, what has happened? Mm -hmm. Of course, the protests has ended. Let's see. Let's wait and see what the Senate Come will do, the... what the House of Representatives will do. A waste of... No, the protests can never be said to be a waste because they have signaled to the government that before now, the 
government of the day used to think that where well, the masses have no say. But now they have realized that the masses have much say. The masses can determine a lot of things. And so if they think that they can do anything and go as usual before this time, they will have to rethink. Give us your thought on Notana. I'm sure you are aware they are raising Russian flags. And yeah. You feel they are calling for external uh, uh, bodies to, to come and, you know, commit a coup or, you know, jump out. And the yeah, yes, the, yeah, the Russian flag that we are being used by some protesters in the north uh, has nothing really tangible. It has no meaning. Because the Russian government, the embassy in Nigeria have replied, have also made their uh, part known that they have no connection whatsoever or relationship with whatsoever with the was, protesters. It, yeah, sorry, it mm. was influenced by what happened in Nigeria. You know, northern people, they are close to Nigeria. Yes. See, what is happening in West Africa and with the ECOWAS? It's influenced by the other neighboring Yes. Yeah. See, the, the truth is that Nigeria is a sovereign nation. Mm. And for that, I thank God for the Russian uh, government who replied that they are not interested to interfere and they can never interfere into the internal affairs of Nigeria, mm -hmm. nor interfere into the uh, internal affairs of any other nation. And that shows that they know the rules of the game. No, no nation, no country can uh, unilaterally interfere into the internal affairs of any other country. Mm -hmm. So the using of Russian flag was considered uh, by evil-minded politicians, you know, I can say. Northerners are, are more pain to the southerners. They, are, they, they feel the impact of this inflation to the southern and the west. No, the, the, the truth is that this, uh, the suffering that is on now cannot be measured by saying the north is suffering more than the south, or the south is suffering more than the north, because it is a, it is a uniform suffering. Mm. Only that before now, the north Part of the north mm. used to, because of lack of education, mm. you can see, go, go into a particular family, you see a lot of children that are wayward because they have no training, they have no education, they have no knowledge of what life is even truly about. So we cannot say about that it is because of that that the north is better or because of that the south is better. Mm. All of them are, as far as this suffering is concerned, as far as this nation is concerned now, as far as this protest is concerned now, we are suffering in the same level. The suffering is it's so just everywhere. What, as far as Nigeria is concerned. What for the federal government of Nigeria? What do you well, if, if, I'm, if I have to advise the federal government of Nigeria, I think they, they really need to wake up now. They have studied the protest. They have studied the handwriting. They have studied the, the demand of the protesters. And they need to know that the nation called Nigeria is suffering. The masses are suffering. So what do they do? Think about the demands mm. and work towards it. Mm. And that will be that will bring all these uh, protests to a to a